When it comes to the prevention and treatment of refeeding syndrome, emphasis should be placed on four aspects of care. They are monitoring of electrolyte levels, management of micronutrients, the initial energy load, and the progression of the energy load. For monitoring of electrolyte levels, you'll want to ensure measurements are obtained before the patient is fed and check them at least every 12 hours for the first three days or until they stabilize. For management of micronutrients, you'll want to correct any low electrolytes before the patient is fed provide a daily multivitamin for at least the first 10 days of feeding, and provide 100 mg per day of intravenous thiamine for at least the first 5-7 to seven days of feeding. For initial energy load, you'll want to start with an energy intake of 100-150 to 150 grams of dextrose, or 10-20 to 20 calories per kilogram, for the first 24 hours. Finally, For the progression of the energy load, you'll want to increase by 33% of the goal energy load every 1-2 to days until that goal is achieved. Once feeding has started, advancing the energy load should be delayed whenever phosphorus, potassium, and or magnesium are low. If electrolyte levels become difficult to correct, reducing the energy load by 50% should be considered. An increase towards the goal rate can resume once the electrolytes stabilize. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.